morning, we are getting an update from the Hillsborough County emergency officials as they closely watch this situation too. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live from the Public Safety Operations Complex with more. Good morning, Larissa. Hi, good morning, Heather and James. Well, joining me this morning is Rob Heron with Hillsborough County Fire Rescue. Rob, talk to me about what emergency officials will be watching for and monitoring today. So our emergency management team is mobilizing as we speak, and they're going to keep an eye on uh, the projected storm surges uh, related to Adalia, and uh, that's going to, you know, make them have a make a decision about uh, any type of potential evacuations if needed. And what kind of preparation should people be doing today? So now, uh, if you have a plan, it's time to start thinking about executing it. This uh, storm's going to enter the Gulf and, and be here late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. So we're encouraging you now, if uh, you have any loose debris in the backyard, patio furniture, um, any kind of limbs that need to be taken down or have fallen, get it, you know, anything that can become a projectile, uh, remove it from, your, from around your house. If it's something that you can't remove, um, maybe start strapping it down. Um, start assembling any kind of important documentation, uh, birth certificates, social security cards, mar marriage certificates, insurance information. Um, you know, charge up your cell phones, charge up your electric electronic devices if the power goes out. Um, if you have a power pack, get that all charged up. Start preparing for, you know, power outages um, if, if necessary. Um, we recommend one gallon of water per person per day. So start thinking about, uh, you know, water needs if, if non-potable water is, uh, is, is you know, the, the case after the storm. Um, so start kind of putting those those things into play. Um, we encourage our residents to go to hcflgov.net slash stay safe at that site. You'll find all the information you need for preparedness, including signing up for our HCFL alert system, which will uh, ping your phone or electronic device with any kind of updates that come out of the emergency operations center. And we were talking, you're also encouraging residents to take advantage of sandbag locations today, correct? Correct, yeah, we have four locations. Um, they're at Edward Bedard Cons Conservation Park uh, in Plant City, E.G. Simmons Conservation Park in Ruskin, Ed Raddus out in Odessa, and Larry Sanders over on 78th Street. And the hours are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. We ask residents, please don't uh, try to get there before 9 a.m. The, the gates won't open until 9 a.m. Great. Well, thank you so much for your information this morning, Rob. We really appreciate it for joining us. For more information on preparations and for a county by county breakdown on sandbag locations all across the Tampa Bay area, head to abcactionnews.com. I'm live in Hillsborough County this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.